Hey guys, another video about a jumper product. What? This time. No, this is different. This time it's three, count them three, brand new receivers from Jumper. This guy is letting us cross the street. Scientific test coming through. We'll open the windows as Will breaks that window. Uh, yeah, I'm slamming the hell out of it. All right. Should we put seatbelts on for safety since we're on video? Probably so. Yeah. Hey, we're sitting at. I've already hit 65 on the 2.4. Well, do we even need to get well, out I had and drive? Facing down. Do we need to get out and drive or you just walk? I just walk. To be I'm already in the 60s. Well, we're in a metal car though. But so it doesn't this, matter. This I, is a horror. What about the people who fly in the wintertime who fly inside, in, their, inside car? their cars? I mean. All right, neither one of them hit low yet. Right. 2.4 is getting there. But again, we are in a metal car, so this is. Uh, this is not where I'd be flying, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Whoa! So they finally have a receiver for their 5-in-1 module. Um, so those of you who have been asking for it, here it is. We have the R900, uh, 900 megahertz receiver. That's for airplanes, PixHawk, all that stuff. It has PWM, S-Bus, and PixHawk pinouts. So if you're familiar with the R8, it's the same thing, basically. But it's a 900 megahertz, 900 megahertz. megahertz. Then we have the R900 Mini. Mm -hmm. This looks like the R1 Plus, but it's running 950 megahertz. Yeah, but it only has the three pins, so it's it's um, S bus only. There's no okay. smart port. There you go. Three pins, S bus, S bus only. And then the last new receiver from Jumper is the updated version of the R8. This is very popular with the RU Pilot guys running Pixhawk because you don't have to get any kind of adapters to invert to get, the signal to get yes yeah. to get telemetry. You just basically plug it in right into here. I don't run it, but I've seen a lot about it. I'm getting into it, so I'll learn more about that as we come along. But this is a new one, and this one is different because why? It has, if you, this one's open here, you have the panel antennas on the end. So this is kind of like the R8 um, from FreeSky. Was it R8? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, so there's the loaded antennas, huh? Yeah, so these panel antennas, it's probably really, honestly, the same thing that's inside the T18s. Everybody had a hissy fit over. Uh, let's see if I can crack one open here. Okay, so first things first guys, you're gonna create a new model. In order to bind it, we need to go to the model button and then scroll either left or right until you go from the top to bottom. You're gonna go, oop, not too far. We're gonna go to the internal RF and we're gonna turn it on to multi. And then we're gonna change, go one over to fly sky because that's the default usually. And then we're gonna switch it over to FreeSky R9, 950 megahertz. And then channel range, yes, that's fine. And then, the now we're ready to bind. Okay. So now we need to take the plane. Okay. Or the receiver, in this case. And I actually, to make this easy, I have the a little bind buddy on here. Okay, so you're gonna hold the yeah. bind button in. Yeah, there's a bind button right here. Need something smaller than 1.5 millimeters, apparently. Um, hold the button down. You don't need to press it hard. You'll feel a click. Once it's clicked, it's ready to go, and then you just switch it on. Then you have a solid green LED. And now that we have the solid green LED, we go on the bind and click it. You'll see it says binding there. And then with that going, you should see gonna be really hard to see in this guys but the, where the LED is there's a second not the green LED but there's a little orange LED next to it that will be flashing and that means it's bound so then I can cancel my bind by hitting the top right corner button and then I'm gonna power cycle the receiver telemetry lost <laughs> telemetry recovered so it actually had telemetry once I bound and canceled it um, I like to power cycle just reset yeah just because even though it's got signal it doesn't actually have servo output sometimes um, so okay. now we're, we're all set up now. Other yeah. than having to set up the plane, which we don't need to do. So there you have it. It's a quick update. We want to let everybody know about the new receivers from Jumper. We're going to do a range test on these guys sooner or later. Um, if you have any questions, comments below, let us know. We'll hopefully answer them with the next video. Any parting words? Um, no, we just got to get them in the air. Yeah. All right. There we go. So <laughs> three new receivers from Jumper, two 950 megahertz, one 2.4 two for airplanes, one for quads, 
And I fly the R8 on my airplanes, and I've had, I mean, granted there's no gyro in them, I don't fly gyro, I'm a uh, old school, st I can't believe no gyro now is considered old school. Yeah, <laughs> times have changed. Yeah. Alright, there you are.